Happy New Year, Carl. Happy New Year, Michelle. Do we just have um, approval of minutes and findings of fact and then a public forum just for anybody who might want to ask us questions, but there's no topic for it? Is that correct? Correct. The public forum is just, yeah, if somebody wants to say something okay. say something for three minutes and then there'll be a short staff update on right. current, current projects yes should be a short meeting okay well i just i saw that and i'm like hmm. so the city attorney did say it, you know to, yeah the city to, attorney uh, had sent out an email that pnz uh, regarding items not Oh, yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So, Great. yeah, we, we need to meet so the findings are approved to go to city council for the public right. hearing on that. And the city attorney uh, had sent out, I think I forwarded it, that uh, approving our minutes and findings uh, can no longer be done through email polls. So that's why we're actually okay. meeting, meeting for a short period of time tonight. Okay, just wanted to double check that I knew kind of what was going on there you got it. everybody had a great 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 holidays and a good start to the new year absolutely
and fortunately have a friend who lost her house in, up in Louisville. So she, they lost everything. So. Oh my Lord. So sad. Yeah. She's, yeah, she's one of my dearest friends from high school. Um, and they, um, they thought it was sort of precautionary. They didn't think it was really going to be what it became. And so she got out with um, one, one change of clothes, um, a laptop, and a phone, and that's it. I mean, her, she and her husband got her, got their dogs out, but it was be what it ended up being, and that was like watching a bad movie. Michelle, I'm obviously sorry to hear that story. You are breaking up quite a bit. I'm not sure if you're on a different network than normal, but not able to catch everything you're saying here. Okay, well, that's good to know. Let me go shut. I've got another laptop that I just um, have been fooling with. Let me go shut that off. Hopefully that'll help. Evening, Brenda. Hi, how are you? Good. Happy New Year. Thank you, too. Is my sound a little better now? Yes. Okay, great. I have to admit, today's like today's days like today. I'm happy that we can have the option of doing remote meetings. Oh, yeah. Because it is crappy out there. It is. Yes. Yes. The um. This. I think it's just as slick as it was a few days ago when we got that storm. It's just really, really, very slippery there. We are melted. Right. Okay, we're waiting for Kate Fuller. Oh, there's Noel. So that Noel gives us our quorum, but Kate Fuller said she would be here as well. Also, not so used to these things starting so late when we've been doing the UDC meetings. She got a couple things done. Yeah. So you said we have a quorum, but we're still waiting on who, Nancy? Kate Fuller had indicated she would be attending, but you do have a quorum. Okay. Well, it's 7.02, let's go ahead and, and get started then. Okay. Uh, I, I am calling the Planning and Zoning Commission meeting of Wednesday, January 5th, 2022 uh, to order. Nancy, can you take the roll please? I can, Kate Townley is absent this evening. Meg Donaldson is absent, Mr. Haggerty. Uh, Judy Brown is absent. Kate Fuller is absent as at the moment. Noel Atkins. Present. Carl Adams. Carl, can you hear me? Well, I see Mr. Adams. <laughs> oh, Carl. Oh, there you are. Can you hear me, Carl? We're doing attendance. Um, yeah, I have my uh, speaker off. 
Um, okay. Yeah, here. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. You're fine. Brenda Hopka, I do it all the time, Paul. Brenda? Here. Okay, we do have a quorum. Okay, great. Um, thank you all for coming. It's uh, time, I guess, to get back into the swing of things. We've had a little a nice long break, and I have to admit that whenever I have breaks like this in what I normally do, it's kind of like my blackboard gets erased. So um, if I miss something, Nancy is always speak up and correct me. Um, so I think the next item on the agenda is the approval of minutes, uh, approval of the December 7th, uh, 2021 draft minutes. And Nancy, can you call for a vote? Move to approve. Thank you. Oh, thanks. There, see, my blackboard got erased. There you go. <laughs> Okay, could I have a second? I'll second to approve. Thank you. Okay, is there any discussion? Hearing none, Nancy, you want to call for the vote, please? Mr. Adams? Uh, yes. Mr. Atkin? Abstain. Uh, Mr. Haggerty? Yes. Uh, Ms. Hupka? Yes. And Chair Austin? Yes. Motion passes. Okay, terrific. The next item on the agenda is the approval of the findings of fact for 30, 3690 South Jason Street. Nancy, would it be best if I put the case number in my comments here? Uh, can we hold on one second? Colin has his hand up. Oh, sure. Sorry. I'm looking down, not looking up. Yes. So that, that's why I had said a quick question. Since we have a quorum, but if not everybody can vote, does that cause any issues? Um, like the fact that we approved meeting minutes, but we didn't have when they had five people. I just want to make sure we're, we're four people, I guess. I'm going to ask our city attorney to weigh in on that. Thanks. I am unmuting myself. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the question is because we, we have a quorum, but not everyone is eligible to vote, if that's an issue for, for passage? Yeah, for approving minutes, or I guess really probably more importantly, this findings of fact, unless Noel can vote on that also. Um, let me, I'm just researching that real quick. Okay. So Colin, I'm, if I understand your question, it's because Noel abstained because he wasn't here on the December 7th meeting. So the voting pe voting members, are, there's one less than a quorum for, for approving the minutes. I, I have no idea if that causes, I just don't want to create an issue right. that comes up later. Right, no, just I, to make sure I understood your question. Got it. Yes, I completely understand. Um, and that, that's a good question. Just bear with me as I'm opening this document. <clears throat> I guess would it make sense to continue on unless we find something that creates a challenge? Um, yes, in the interest of time and moving this along um, as I'm opening this up, <laughs> um, I think, it, yeah, you can move forward. And then if there is an issue regarding um, this, I can let you, I, I can um, raise my hand and, and address that accordingly. Okay, because that will potentially affect our vote on the findings of fact as well. Yeah, I guess there is probably a, an allowance. Um, Nolan, I know I haven't done this every time. Did you watch the entire uh, last meeting? Uh, I read in medium level depth the uh, document. That's sure. the extent. I, I believe, Nancy, you had said that I, I had to have watched the whole thing last time in order to vote on something. Is that the case, at least as your understanding? That was the last interpretation I received from uh, the former city attorney's office. Uh, I also thought it was for the minutes, it was a quorum of those present, but uh, that, Victoria will clarify that. Yes, that's correct. I'm looking at it right now. It's a majority oh. vote of the quorum present is required yep. for any motion unless a different requirement is set by these rules of order. Um, and that is not the case. 
Okay. But now Thank that we have Kate Fuller here. Hi, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, I've been sick today and I took a nap and I overslept. Okay, I know I had a meeting, so I know eight minutes is extremely late for this. So I apologize. No, no, no. Good. We were researching. Um, we're taking the vote on the minutes. How do you vote? Um, approve. There we go. Good. So our question's been answered. <laughs> well, and, and Kate, I would oversleep if I was at, at that log cabin in that beautiful place yeah. too. So I know it's a great Airbnb over here, somewhere in the mountains. <laughs> and there's like no it's snowing at all. Yeah, it's not snowing at all. It's great. Looking good over there. Yeah. Okay. So thank I apologize, but thank you. And I knew we so needed to record good. tonight. So I knew the pressure was on. Okay. So thank you, Victoria. Sorry, I just wanted to thank Victoria for her uh, clar clarification on that. So we will now know going forward. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. thank, thank you very Sorry much. Sorry for taking a minute. <laughs> no, you're good. Okay, thank Chair. You. Thank you, Victoria. Okay, Kate, so now we are on the third item on our agenda, which is the approval of the findings of fact for 3690 South Jason. So now, Nancy, would it be appropriate for me to go ahead and spell out the the findings of fact of, in the matter of the case and the whole identif identifying number? No, that you're fine. Okay, so I don't need to do that. You okay. have it by the address, that's good. Okay, all right, great. All right, so do we need a motion to open up the discussion on this? We do. I move to open discussion. I'll second. Great, need a discussion on the motion? Seeing none, um, are there comments or questions about the findings of fact that are attached to our agenda? Great. Well, um, with that, that um, I will say thank you very much to Nancy for putting the findings of fact together. I know sometimes that can be very detailed and um, as always, you did a fantastic job doing that. So with that, um, I'll close the discussion. And uh, Nancy, can you call for a vote on approval of the finance fact for 3690 South Jason Street? Sure. Mr. Haggerty? Yes. Ms. Fuller? Yes. Uh, Mr. Atkins? Abstain. Mr. Adams? Yes. Ms. Ms. Hubka? Yes. And Chair Austin? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. Terrific. Thank you. Okay, so uh, now the next item on the agenda is a public forum. We don't have a topic for the public forum. It's just an opportunity for anyone to address us for items that are not on the agenda. Nancy, I will rely upon your screen and your looking around here to see if we have any public that want to talk to us. We do not. Okay. All right. And we'll move on to the next item on the agenda, which is staff's choice. And uh, Wade sort of, he just appeared. So I'm assuming that Wade, I should be calling upon you. I am here. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Just wanted to provide you an update on a few of the projects you've seen uh, in the past few months. Uh, the case that you just approved the findings of fact on. Uh, the planned unit development that you had the public hearing on in December at 35, I'm sorry, 3690 South Jason Street. That actually is being heard before city council at public hearing on January 18th. So here in a few weeks, we'll have the public hearing in that uh, venue for that case. And at your next meeting, uh, we do have a public hearing scheduled as well for uh, 3601 South Huron. Um, it is another Metropolitan Homes project and it's for 24 for sale townhome units uh, in the I-1 zone district. So you will have a public hearing coming up on January 19th as well. Um, this is a chance to, um, if you have any questions that you have um, on any cases that you see around town or any projects that might be underway, I, I'm able to see if I can find some answers for you, but um, those are the two uh, most imminent and most recent cases that you have seen 
man. Just wanted to provide you an update for those. So I do see Colin's hand up. We had asked, I think, on uh, about a thousand two one zero zero two East Hamden uh, last time. I don't know yep. if that is any update on what's going on there. So we've had a, we've had a development review team meeting on that project for 10, 10 units, ten townhomes. Okay. Um, the demolition has been approved and occurred, but mm -hmm. we have not had any uh, building permit submitted for the actual project. Um, so the one so, thing I noticed, I think, trying to figure out how we're applying this and where we're applying it is the main floor uh, commercial on Hamden, Old Hamden, and Broadway. I think is where we've limited those two. Right. And we're not even, it doesn't seem like we're consistently applying that or requiring that. I'm just wondering if there's any thought process on if that's um, what we're doing with that. So in the past, uh, for this specific project, I'm not sure, um, uh, but over the past two to three years, we've had about half dozen or so variances to eliminate that requirement. So I'm not exactly sure if that's what's happened on this one or not, but we actually did change the code um, back um, early summer to where that commercial requirement uh, is only in the 3,300, 3,400, 3,500 blocks of South of Broadway now. I thought we, cause it was all of um, MUB1 or something it, like it that. But I, thought uh -huh. we, I thought we also kept it in Old Hamden as well. At least I thought that, I, I thought I'd ask for that at least. That, <laughs> that um, yeah, did not, did not end up happening. On, on Old Hamden. What's Unless, the cross street on this project that we're talking about? Uh, Hamden and Ogden-ish, yes. Fairly close to being right across from the parking garage. Yeah, um, and just that, down the street from the other Peter Kudla project. Yeah. Um, the apartments, condos at Corona. Um, okay. And I guess I, there was a talk of Sorry, we'll let you go in a second. Of a kind of yeah. a festival street for and redoing kind of that downtown in Old Hamden, also. And I think if we are really wanting to do that, we're going to have to keep some mixed use within that street, also. If that is something, I mean, I know there's some restaurants there which I think are great. Um, I think just to make sure we get the density there. Yeah. So the for the city center redevelopment, we. The original language read that 51% of your ground floor needed to be um, commercial. So we, we have done away with the 51% and based it off of square footage of the lots. So there is still a requirement in that project that there be commercial uh, and retail activity uh, on the ground floor for city center. City center. Yeah, yeah, but not... Uh, like I said, I'm not sure about the the 1002 uh, East Hampton project. Um, they wait for that one. Yeah. Um, so with the with that code change, so before that or previous or prior to that, um, it was only in the MU districts that had that 50% re retail requirement. Um, and so this property, that 1002, is um, in medical district, so it's the M2. Uh. Um, so it, it, it never, you know, prior or post that uh, code change didn't have that requirement. Gotcha. And maybe I'm mis confusing then the Festival Street or whatever we were calling Old Hamden between, you know, the where Hamden comes off and Broadway. Is that still a consideration from the city as part of the planning efforts? In the Duck Pond area on the west side of Broadway or on the east side of Broadway? East side of Broadway in the medical district. Okay. Um, yeah. That that, the last Inglewood forward also. <laughs> okay. That, I have not heard that that's moving forward on that portion of um, Old Hamden. Thank you for the information on that. 
Then they give up. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Wade, do you have anything else for us? That was it for tonight. Okay. Um, is there any other um, staff that would like to speak with the commission? I would just remind, uh, Wade did say our, your next meeting is January 19th, that that is a Wednesday, and that is due to the Martin Luther King holiday. So when there's a Monday holiday, council meets on Tuesday and planning commission meets the following night on a Wednesday. So you're going to have a couple of Wednesday meetings coming up. Okay. Just, just be aware. Do we have a six o'clock meeting on the 19th as well? Yes, you will. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, we might move on to attorney's choice. Ah, hi there. <clears throat> this is Victoria again. Um, I don't have anything at this time, but again, if there's any questions or any issues that arise, uh, our office is here. Okay, great. Um, and then I do want to call everyone's attention to the note here under staff's choice that we will be electing a chair and vice chair at our February 8th meeting. So everybody's aware of that. So uh, commissioner's choice, I'll just go around the screen as I see it. And if I miss someone, I'll raise your hand. Uh, I see Colin here first. I don't have anything else. Thank you. Okay. Let's see if I can put up the gallery screen. There we go. Okay, Brenda. I'm good, thanks. All right, No. Nothing tonight, thank you. Okay. No comments from me. Okay. Carl? Uh, I'll make this simple and uh, no comment. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll, did I miss anybody? I don't think so, but I will keep it simple as well and just say I don't have a comment either, except I hope everybody had great holidays and have a great start to this new year. Um, uh, and unless I hear, if there's nothing else, then I will declare this meeting adjourned. Thank you much, everyone. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Sorry okay. again. No problem. Bye. I come late to the short meeting. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, all. <laughs>